So guys, what's going on? I just caught up with the fights. Um, Daniel Dubois knocking out Richard Latte in the fourth round. What a fight. What a fight. Um, a thriller, actually. No, I wouldn't say a thriller, but a war. An absolute war. You know, both of them going at each other. You know, Daniel Dubois taking... The first time I saw Daniel Dubois fighting somebody that's actually fighting back and hitting him on the chin and wobbled him, I think, in the second round. Caught him with a good shot, wobbled him. But, you know, Daniel Dubois, to be fair, has got a good chin. He he definitely reminds me of Joshua. Dubois reminds me of Joshua so badly, like... But I think I, I, I probably might get a little bit of stick saying this. I think he's actually tougher than Joshua as well. I think he, he's got a better chin than Joshua. I think he's a very, very good, ki talented kid, this guy. He's going to go a long, long way. He's a very, very good fighter. Um, I think he's maturing as a fighter. I think he's getting better every fight. And I think this kid is a serious prospect for the heavyweight division. And I don't think it's going to take him that long to reach the top. Now, in heavyweight boxing, you never know. Because it only you're only one punch away from disaster. But I like what I see. He's young, you know. He's he's strong. He's big. Um, it looks like he's he can take a punch. Um, this kid's gonna this kid's gonna go a long way in the sport. I think. I think he's a very good prospect. And I actually think the fight between him and Joyce is a cracking fight. Because I don't think I think Joyce might look at Daniel Dubois as a step down. But I actually think it's a very tough fight for him. I actually fancy Dubois in the fight. I know Joyce has got all that amateur pedigree and he's 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 definitely very skilled. I just like Daniel Dubois. I like what I see, especially after this performance. This guy was coming to win this latte and he really hit Daniel Dubois. And Daniel Dubois, to me, seems a lot more stronger and I think he punches a lot more harder than Joyce. I think that's a tough fight for Joyce. I don't think... I don't think... I think Joyce looks at Daniel Dubois as a step down. I actually think it might be a lot harder than what he has in mind. I think this kid can really, really fight and he's no pushover for anybody. Um, and I, like I said, I think it's a serious, serious prospect moving forward. I think it's not going to take him long before he's up there with the top heavyweights in the world. He's a very, very good fighter. I think, I think people are going to realize that very soon. I think this kid is going to go a long, long way on, on this performance. I don't think he's miles off. I don't think he's miles off. I, I think you give him another 18 months. 12 months to 24 months I think this kid will be this kid will be up there fighting for the heavyweight championships of the world I think he's up there I think he'll be up there with you know the likes of Joshua Wilder Fury because I, I really rate this guy I rated him the first time I saw him but now I actually I've seen him mature as a fighter I think he's getting better every fight and also, he doesn't shy away from a challenge. He's quite a spiteful kid. He looks a very nice guy. But he's actually a very spiteful kid. And I think he's going to make for a very tough fight for any top heavyweight out there. So I think they've got to be aware. Because Daniel Dubois is on, the, on his way. Um, I can't wait for him to progress. And get to the top. It's going to be very interesting to see where this kid can get to. But like I said, I don't think he's going to be long away before he reaches the top of the heavyweight division. I think he's a very, very good prospect and a very, very good fighter. I think um, him and Joshua in the future could be a blockbuster. Him and Fury in the future could be a blockbuster. Him and Deontay Wilder in the future could be a blockbuster. Um, I think this sky's the limit for this kid. He's a very, very good fighter. Um, if you haven't already watched this kid, start watching this kid. Daniel Dubois. He is going to be a star in the future. He's a very, very good prospect. Very, very good fighter. I think he's going to go a long, long way in the sport. Um, I think Frank Warren's got a gem. And I, I don't think it's going to take long for this guy to be um, up there with the big boys. I do think Joe Joyce should take another route. Because I think this fight's very. it would be a very dangerous fight for him. Because I think Daniel Dubois is very strong, very big. He punches very hard. Um, and I, I think Joe Joyce is... It's a good fighter, but I think I think I think Dubois might be too much for him. That's my opinion on what on what I've seen so far. Um, I think Joyce has got a lot more to prove, um, and I don't think he wants to be running into a hungry lion like Daniel Dubois just yet. I think maybe in time this could that could be a big fight, 
But I think right now, I think Joe Joyce should take other options, take the other routes. Um, Joe Joyce is in the stage of his career where he needs to be fighting more recognised names uh, because of it, the kind of experience, amateur experience he's got and the... Uh, um, and because of his age, he's not the spring chicken, whereas Daniel Dubois is a young chicken, spring chicken. You know, he, he's got a long time left in the game. So they can take their time with Daniel Dubois. They don't have to push him or force him into anything because he's got a long he's got a long time left in the sport, whereas Joe Joyce has to be rushed, pushed because he's old. Uh, whereas Daniel Dubois is only 20, 21. So he's got a long way to, he's got a lot to learn. He's got a long way to go. Um, so they can do it gradually because they know they've got a lot of time um, and they don't want to take any wrong steps early because you don't want to get a young a young guy like this exposed early on in his career. Um, although he's looking sensational in his performances, you don't want him to be exposed early on um, and you want him to move at a right pace and when he gets to those big fights, he's ready. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. What did you make of Daniel Dubois' knockout victory of Richard Latte? A devastating, not a brutal knockout. Uh, but leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.